Hi guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now. So, Ajagba versus Marty Bakoli is the most talked about fight uh, in um, the continent of Africa right now. A lot of various uh, powerhouse media uh, in Nigeria, in the Congo, even in South Africa, Cameroon, have been basically reporting about this potential clash between these uh, two warriors uh, from the continent. Um, Bakoli being from the Democratic Republic of Congo and Ajagba being from Nigeria, you know. Now, I've been watching both uh, both fighters uh, for last fight, um, last few fights. Um, of course, the most impressive win of Bakole's career has to be the Jared Anderson fight, even though uh, he dispatched of Tony Yoka. He's the first guy to dispatch of Tony Yoka, stopped him. And uh, no, they didn't stop him. It was... Uh, a beat, total beat down. Um, I think he almost knocked him out. It was, it was in Paris and it was on the dog. Ajagba being a guy that has been uh, touted as one of the uh, best everywhere out there, the most feared everywhere out there. Because we know what happened when he left PBC. They tried to basically stall his career and now he's on top rank and he's had a couple of fights. Some of them have been good. Uh, some have not been good, but the most impressive uh, Ajagba performance for me has to be the fight against Ali Redim Rezin, <clears throat> a fighter of similar stature um, um, of uh, Mate Bakole and a fighter that stands still, doesn't uh, have a lot of head movement and comes to bang. So, a lot of people have been saying that Ajagba is going to lose this fight. They feel that Ajagba, um, yeah, they feel that Amati Bakoli is going to brush Ajagba off. And bro, I don't think so because I've been watching both fighters. <clears throat> I think people that give Ajagba problems are people um, with, um, like, if you're somebody with um, an, an amazing footwork, uh, Franz Sanchez beat Ajagba, I think it was by luck, in my opinion, because Ajagba didn't expect Franz Sanchez to run the way Franz Sanchez did. Franz Sanchez was better on the night, you know, but I, I think Ajagba would have dispersed that guy if Ajagba, if Ajagba, was, if Ajagba was ready or had the, the, good, the right sparring for Franz Sanchez. But some things like things like that happens, you know. Uh, and I'm kind of looking forward to, to this right now. So, how does Ajagba beat Mati Bakole? Listen, I, I like both guys. Um, I support Ajagba more, for sure, because I know Ajagba um, uh, for a long time. And uh, I've interacted with him, you know, he's been on the channel. And I've supported him from day one, basically. Um, this is the day, even before he turned pro. Now, <clears throat> I want Ajagba to win. But it's not going to be an easy fight. Uh, Ajagba has already accepted. So nobody's going to say, oh, he's ducking. No, Ajagba has accepted. Janjali didn't want the fight. Uh, Kabayer didn't want the fight. And we heard both of them are fighting each other. If this fight gets made and is on the order, it's on the card, on the undercard of uh, of um, Dimitri Bivol at the Bitter Beef rematch, that would be amazing in Saudi. We don't know yet, though. Uh, we'll see. Um, I thought Turkey liked uh, Mati Bakole. I just think he wasn't happy that Mati Bakole uh, beat Jerry Anderson because he had plans, huge plans for Jerry Anderson. But I think he still does. I understand. I think we're back. That's in still very much young. Um, in the game, you lose. You lose some, you win some. I think we should stop. Um emphasizing or basically um rubbishing people that lose is just part of the game some nights you win some some nights you lose some but Jaguar fighting as monster right here 
is crazy. <clears throat> and I have to give kudos to Ajabba for Asif Defy. For how he wins this fight, I think Ajabba has to win this fight with a jab. You know? And stand his ground. Because if he moves, it's going to be a problem. Um, he stands his ground. Basically, has to be his jab. Ajabba has a longer reach. His jab has to be key. Ajabba has a very good jab, huh? One of the most underrated jabs. It's just that um, he, did, he doesn't use it anymore like he used to. Really because he's adding more tools to his arsenal. But I think when everything comes together, you will see the best of Ajabba. Um, but regardless of who wins this fight, um, I'll be happy. Uh, of course, I'll be more happy if Ajabba wins because Ajabba, like <laughs> me being Nigerian and stuff like that. But Martin Bakali is not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He's a very likable guy. Um, but Ajakba winning will do more um, because Ajakba has got a lot, the most populous country in Africa behind them. Nigerians. Um, very supportive. Um, and uh, I think his name will be off the roof. I think Ajakba should be also named by now. But, <clears throat> you know, fighting is not enough. You have to have good management and you know you don't really trust too much people nowadays and i don't know what ajakba's um pr team is like in nigeria i think he needs to have he needs to have one ekb abuchi didn't have one i think that's why he's not recognized in nigeria like that apart from out from at fans samuel peter had a good pr team in nigeria like and the state governor i think uh the governor of aquaribo state ababio then supported him as well so one of those things i think um this victory um a victory over Mati Bakole would do a job a great thing man. i tell you right now it would do a job a great i'm just hoping that uh, <clears throat> this fight this fight get made and i'll be watching but who analyze the fight more i'm just kind of happy to see a in this position because if a Jagba, if a Jagba beats Mati Bakole Wow, it means <laughs> I don't know, man. It's gonna be crazy. Ajaba will definitely beat Dubois, and if Matibakole Mat beats Ajaba, I think Dubois would dock Matibakole because um Dubois uh, Matibakole is a familiar foe to Dubois. Dubois style would definitely just be too easy for Matibakole to deal with, because Matibakole knows Dubois. He knows him and does the poll. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys, for the next God bless you all. Like if you share, subscribe, and uh, give your takes. No, cheers.